Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, yes. we are no, live sorry. here from the house that uh, we are calling Pet Cemetery. Um, I purchased this property from an animal hoarder that was uh, having 80 plus cats in her house and uh, 25 were found alive here. So we've been working four people for about an hour and 15 minutes and we've only done half of the living room. So I'm gonna show you here what we've got. Pretty, pretty nasty here. Look at the walls. Well, one, one clean spot of carpet. There's a major infestation of roaches here. So uh, we are gonna have to bomb this place multiple times, but obviously can't do that until um, we get all this stuff out. So we found one dead uh, cat that was badly decomposed. Um, and uh, that was very, very sad because it just looked like the cat suffered a lot. This kitchen is of horrors. Um, this is probably going to be the biggest rehab remodel that I've ever done. Um, not only from a cost perspective, but from a size perspective. This is really, really bad. We're going to be gutting this entire house. There's probably 15 of these large cages in here. And, uh... There's roaches the size of a Volkswagen. Like, they are huge. Um, here's an entire bowl full of roaches. So, this is pretty, pretty bad. Um, and I'll take you back. This is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house in Winter Haven that I purchased here for $30,000. Uh, the rehab is going to be about 85000 It needs absolutely everything, including electrical and plumbing and, of course, everything else. Roof, the whole bit. Um, I have never been able to get into this room because the door will not open more than this point. So... Um, this is really, really bad, but four of us, um, and you know, this was the first time I've ever seen a um, roach nest, like an actual nest. I didn't know that they had nest. Um, I thought it was a big clump of maggots, and it turned out to be um, a nest that looked just like that, and I thought it was maggots, and they're actually roach eggs so this is bad you can see the roaches have eaten everything uh, rats in here so this is this is absolutely awful this house is pretty much destroyed we have to rehab everything there's probably there's no central heat and air in here so we found about 10 to 15 fans. Um, this is the condition of the furniture. I mean, this is this is a nightmare house. So we're calling this house the Pet Cemetery because um, I think we're gonna find a lot more dead animals, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we've only found one and we've only been in here for an hour and a half. So um, it's just, uh, the fact that two people lived in here 
for this many years, uh, it's really no wonder they died. The smell in here is atrocious. Um, I wish video had smell. I mean, these cages just are so sad. It looks like, you know, these animals really suffered here, um, being locked in this nightmare. Mm, pull the whole box forward. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Whiskers and all. Skeleton. God damn it. Oh, the foot. <sighs> this is horrible. Absolutely horrible. And this is just the fucking beginning. Who knows what's in all this shit? Oh, my God. This poor cat. Mm -mm. Probably starved to death. Don't pull too hard so it doesn't break. Good God, man. Sorry, meow meow. Two, three. Fuck! Oh. Wait, you're stuck on wires. I got it now, Kel. It's the glass part. Oh, you bitch. Pull that glass part off. Well, I got it now. When I say we found the whole hotel, we found the whole hotel. Move it back. Well, these motherfuckers jump. They jump? Yeah, they jump. Yeah, they jump. Yeah, they Whoa. Do we hear them? Yes, they're everywhere. Oh, These suckers destroyed my home. It was my sister, my aunt. They told me that I was late for my property. <laughs> I had nothing to worry about. God, these things are huge. Whoa. I would like to let you know that you guys are fucking with my biggest fear of life right now. Roaches? Girl, don't even don't. try me. No, no big ones. Palmetto bugs? Don't you even try me. Uh, you know how I am with them. I'm behind you. That's what... Because I'm going to do like they did in the movie. I'm going to put a sign, take him first. I can't. you got to get a closer look. Zoom in. Oh, look at the hole. Oh, my God. They're all in the hole. <laughs> yeah. It's all fun and games, so one of them flies. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> oh, look at this corner. Why would you do that? Oh, there's like a hundred of them in there. Somebody give me some spray. What? I want to spray it in the Where's hole. Where's that hot shot? <laughs> My trunk. Oh. Oh, get that off right there. Get the off, get the off. I want you to spray want me to walk the hot yes, beside God, them? Oh, I want to They spray. jump. No, they don't. One, two. Ah! I'm going you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? Spray this hole right here. Yeah. Oh, keep going. That's it? They're oh, the going. babies are coming out. Off ain't going to kill them. No, but it's going to get them running. Yeah. Oh, they're trying to fly. Okay. We, we are at the pet cemetery. Day one. After. How many hours? Four, four, four and a half hours. Yeah, four and a half hours with four people. We didn't even make it the entire living way room. through the living room. It's... Um, this is really making me question life. Yeah, that, that too. But <laughs> buying this hunk of junk. Um, the amount of mold that we found today. The amount of nastiness. Um, I mean, let me show you here. Can you? Uh, I think so. Don't get my titties in it. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear this sound, but it is of the mass volume of roaches. You can hear them crawling throughout everywhere. I feel beat up. That's only about four and a half hours. My fucking back is killing me. Um, we're done. We're done for the day. It's Saturday. We're dehydrated. It's Saturday. And we need a buffet. And I feel like roaches are crawling all over us. They have been. They have been, literally, yeah. All day. So, we will give you progress, but uh, right now, I'm not feeling like we had much progress. I mean, I can show you I mean, we did. the room. Like, oh, look, discount. look where Kyle is. Yeah. Um, Th there was a couch right behind you, right? Yeah, so there was 11 cages in total in here. Right. In just the living room. Right. The couch was here. 
There was a chair here. There was another chair over here. And how high was it stacked? You can see the line of where it was stacked. There you go. So we really did do a lot in four and a half hours, but it's been a long week. We got a lot, a long way to go. We are starting day two here. We've got four people and uh, we finished the living room and we are breaching the kitchen now. And the kitchen is pretty, pretty bad. So uh, we are gonna have a really hard day. It's gonna be about 98 degrees today. So it's, um, it's super hot. There's no air movement in there. Um, I upgraded my respirator to a half mask because the dust mask, I was having to mouth breathe. It was that bad in there. So the ammonia level is pretty high. Um, the other guys don't seem as bothered as me, but uh, I'm gonna continue my day with a half mask. How we came upon this house was the um, daughter and son of the owner contacted us. The mother and one of the sisters, or her daughter, was living in this home. Uh, the mother died and the daughter died as well. They think the mother just died of natural causes, probably from the environment, and then the daughter probably committed suicide right after that. So both of their bodies were found in the home. Uh, they weren't decomposed or anything. They were found like a day or two later. Uh, so they, uh, the rest of the family saw the home and the condition that it was in and uh, they didn't want anything to do with it. So they called me originally for um, a clean out quote and then uh, we kind of negotiated a sale. So I purchased this property. Uh, we closed on it last week and uh, we are in the process of cleaning it out now. I think it's gonna be about a two week process to clean it out and then uh, the rehab portion will start. And the rehab on this house is gonna be substantial. So I just wanna say I hate every single one of you. The test results came in and they determined that was a lie. Hey, Ben? Yes. That's full of fog. <laughs> ben is the only one not afraid of fog. Like a quick draw. Oh, yeah. You can do it like a quick draw from a gun. Yeah, there you go. So when you see one, just kill. Oh, there, get that one. What one? Get that one. That's too big for this. No, it's not. Get it. Oh. Get it, get it. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> I know. Oh, not with juices on it. No with juices no, on, juice it. on it. No way. No oh, Jesus. Oh my God, this is a really, really bad house. It smells so bad. I hate how it smells this house. And there is a lot of cucarachas. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. I have to think about it. I have to focus. Because they're thinking about how to get away from you. And they're no, they're thinking about how to crawl on me. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. We're helping people, right? And by people you need me. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, this is a little too much for me today. I have to stay moving or they're gonna climb on me. We can snap it and he can. Four, four. Power drive straight down the middle. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Do your foot. <laughs> Anytime you move a corrugated box, there's thousands of roaches. They just spread everywhere. Here's your brand new microwave, complimentary with roaches. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Thank you. Thank they you. add flavor to everything. 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 Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What? They're in the fucking wall. They're coming out of the wall. I don't think a bomb is gonna help. They're gonna look at that and laugh in your face. They're like, ah! Oh. This is fucking horrible. 
plaster walls are deteriorating. You can, can you hear this? Yeah. You yeah. can literally hear them coming out of the walls. Jesus Christ. Look at this shit. They're running. You can hear them back there. You know what you're going to do though? This is going, this is literally going to be one of the most gorgeous rehab you've done. It gotta be. I'm serious. Like, I know it's a lot, but this is going to be one of the best rehabs you've done. And it's also the largest one. So. I hope you can fix that though. It's plaster. Um, it's probably going to have to be removed. Yeah, it is going to have to be removed. Good one. Very good. They're coming out of the wall. We're probably going to have to take the walls down in the kitchen. Yeah. Before you even bomb the house. It's like a lot of them. You can hear them crawling all over each other. I'm going to call Glenn right now. You're going to have to. Hey. Oh my god, dude. This is no. fucking bad. So in the no. kitchen, yeah. we moved all of the shit away from the wall. The plaster has deteriorated and there's roaches coming out of the plaster. Yeah, I've seen that before. We're, we're gonna have to knock that part down, right? Uh, send me some pictures of it. Let me see how, what we got there. And then, it's, it's, it's about, I'm facing the screen, the, or the sliding glass doors. That's gotta be the left. The left. left. Okay. I mean, if there is a, uh, you'll, you'll have uh, to look at it when you get, when you in here Wednesday, I'm just gonna give you a heads up. That, yeah, okay. uh, we'll get through that. Don't worry. Don't, that, that kind of shit can be fixed. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's, well, the, the flooring cave and we're good. No, um, this, this place is solid. It's definitely solid. I mean, it's like fucking prison in here. Yeah. So we'll, we're, we're probably gonna end up having to get a tenant. Oh yeah. To get rid of the roaches. There's oh no yeah. That. No, that's fine so, with me. That's worth it. So as soon as y'all get done, you have a tenant. I just, I just gotta get in there and measure for the cabinets and shit. We gotta figure out the, uh, uh, the payment plan, uh, break it up into some different draws, and yeah. so we can get some cabinets, some materials ordered. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. The, that way when they pull the tent off, I can bump there ready to go. I'll finish the kitchen today in probably one bedroom. Oh, all right, you're doing better than I thought you'd be doing, Yeah, actually. yeah, it's, I mean, we're, we're blowing through. So, oh, yeah, all right, I'll send you some pictures. All right, all right. All right bye. bye. You're so strong, girl. You're so strong. Somebody got be, baby. So we're here to talk about my feelings today, and this is miserable. I have done hoarding and storage units for years, probably five or six years. This is the most horrendous thing I've ever seen not including the dead animals that we're finding, hence Pet Cemetery. Um, good news, instant weight loss for the next week. Uh, bad news, I'm not doing CrossFit for the next month. Um, it's a little overwhelming, but we'll get through it. It's gonna be gorgeous when we're done. We are at the end of day two, and it was a productive day with just the four of us. We got through the kitchen and maybe 10% of one of the bedrooms. It is, uh, it was daunting today. The roach infestation was like nothing else I have ever seen. They were literally coming out of the plaster walls. There was, um, <clears throat> they were so disgusting. There was a coffee pot full of dead roaches and maggots were eating them inside the coffee pot. So this, this job is going to be one of the most difficult I think that we've ever done. Not only physically, but mentally, it's just exhausting. This is one of my top 10 worst houses in my 14 years. And uh, the weird thing about this house is that I bought it. So now it's my problem. So um, it's going to be uh, one of my biggest challenges in rehabbing. Uh, that probably that I've ever had. Accidentally knock over a candle, I won't be sad.
Hey guys, we are here on day three of uh, the pet cemetery. I've got a crew working on getting inside now, and then I've already got another crew dumping the other dump trailer. So, uh, so far we have three quarters of the kitchen done and the living room in three days. Uh, there's gonna be six of us working today, all hands on deck. Stay tuned. Look how much piss is on that fucking carpet. Woo! I told you I had a bladder problem. I know. Maybe I should pee on it just to mark my spot. You know, I was thinking about that the same thing. <laughs> Let me carry it out first. <laughs> oh, good lord. Look at the top of that. Oh. It's got it. might be a dress. Yeah. She probably knows how old it is. No. Perfect. I got the same. Holy shit. In here? It's got so much weight on it. Still. Yep. Yeah. I have PTSD with this house. I constantly feel like things are crawling on me. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's moving. I feel like my skin's crawling. Um, the heat index today is even worse. It's pretty hot. Um, it's like it's never ending. You keep opening doors and there's more and there's more. Uh, so. I think this job is a mental fuck more than anything. Cool. Yeah, because none of us are sleeping at night and shit. Here, Roach is crawling in the walls. That drives. I hope so. I need him. She wants a cat, though. Does she? Should I brought the vacuum shield? Uh, one of these falls on the crawl on me. Sorry. Sorry. Don't fall on me. Don't be a bitch, girl. Fuck you. <laughs> For what? For Keep it now. Keep it now. This room, I think, is one of the worst in terms of the cat urine. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. It's heavy. Look at that infestation. Wow. bought this house. I'm not sure why. I will make it beautiful, but it might kill me in the process. <clears throat> this is by far the worst house I've ever bought, ever renovated. It's disgusting. I don't even think people in third world countries live like this. Incredible. It's unbelievable. So disgusting. There is a lot of shit. I don't understand how people can live like this. In this country, you have everything. So I don't understand how you can live like this in Colombia. You can find poor people. You can find, I don't know. But you never find something like this. Never. Hello. Stop trash in my house. Hello. All right, so I'm gonna try to venture into this room. Oh. 
Oh my god. I am at the ceiling. 100%. I don't think there's much I can do in here. Honestly. I'm gonna have to get down in there. I'm sinking. Try to clear some shit away from the window. Get up on there, girl. Get Can it. you hold my shit? Hold what shit? Your phone? Thanks. You're welcome. 20. I'm still, I'm still 10 foot in the air. Oh, that's fucking brand new. Juan needs one for his kitty. Juan has a kitty? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Can't even get into this room. Look how tall it is. Alright. two days to get where we're at here. 80 cats, 20 plus cages. Uh, this, we had a little bit of fun. Um, Laura and I both bobsledded down here with a cardboard box like we were a bunch of 12 year olds, but. I don't see anything dangerous down here. We don't think. I just heard something snap. I said I don't think Well, you're sitting on a basket. Oh. You're going to get first, that should be sore. Oh my god. Oh my okay, Ken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. There you go. Ready, go. Oh, <laughs> you lost Ken. Where'd Ken go? Come on, Laura. I'm too old, Kyle. No, Glenn will catch you. He caught me. <laughs> I thought I was going to pull you. You cut. Kind of, Glenn's going to pull you and then catch you. Not tell me first. I guess I shouldn't be moving the bedding, huh? It's gonna get rough. <laughs> That's actually pretty fun. I have to pee. You don't cover a Barbie. We had to add a little excitement. Um, it took me a good minute to get into the room. We ended up having to remove the door completely just in order to get this out. The hallway is gone. Tomorrow, we're going to finish this bedroom and this bedroom. It's, it's just a nightmare. Uh, I got home super paranoid about bugs and things like that. Mentally draining. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far because we still have three rooms that are attached to the house that we can't get to yet. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause for the cause. And ring that bell to get notifications when we launch our new episodes every Thursday. Have a good day, guys. Peace.